Hello again, everybody. This is Mr. Everything, and I am coming back at you with some Waterloo. Hey, this is uh, Scourge of War. It's a um, it's a strategy game, and I have the Waterloo and Quattro Bra expansion. Um, they do Civil War as well, but as you know, I'm a big Waterloo uh, freak. And uh, I did a video, I don't know, uh, almost a year ago, talking about how this game plays. And I haven't really done any more videos for you guys on this. Uh, I play a bunch of games already. But what we're going to do is I'm going to kind of go through uh, the campaigns or the scenarios and then maybe play a campaign or something like that. But right here under single player... And if it is really loud, like if, if like when I just clicked that, you heard a gunshot. If it's extremely loud, I apologize. Uh, there is no volume uh, option to lower uh, in-game sounds. Uh, so just that you, uh, what I've done in the recording software is kind of turn down the desktop audio. If it winds up being uh too loud then just have to turn down the volume uh all right so let's do this and that get rid of that steam thing that was on my screen okay so we got waterloo battles we've got sandbox campaign sandbox user scenarios what i found is the user scenarios and the waterloo battles are exactly the same uh all right so let's go to tutorial i don't remember seeing that okay do i do want to point out that's pretty cool artwork they've got looks like the scots grays are attacking some french line foot artillery um if you follow my channel you would have seen uh, my line foot artillery now it looks like thomas picton and the ninth infantry division uh I've got one battalion, it looks like. Um, okay, so this says I've got 604 men. That's the strength. Uh, if you click on the unit, uh, it's got 594? What? Okay, so the extra men must be in this. Welcome to the tutorial for Scourge. Uh, the tutorial will familiarize you with the battle and the game and the interface basics of combat okay now reason why i'm doing the tutorial you're like mr everything why are you doing the tutorial well it's basically to help uh, refresh my memory on how to play this game because again it's been a couple couple of months since i've played and uh i have a target and that's usually listed right here what my target is my target is the first trialiers de la guard okay so there's like a, a, a guard battalion of the second battalion okay uh what am i trying to do duke of wellington has ordered us to capture the farm to your front however before we attack the farm i will take a moment to explain the basic game controls there are several ways to move around the camera uh, using the A, W, S, and D keys, you can move your mouse uh, to the edge of the screen. Like that. If I go too far, it actually goes to my third monitor. Okay, so, uh, so I'll probably not use the mouse to do that. I'll probably just use my keys. And then, um, okay, I'm rolling the wheel and, and my view is going up and down. What I was thinking the rolling the wheel would change this, but it doesn't. Okay. Uh, to move the camera up and down, you can use your mouse scroll wheel. I just did that. You can also press the space bar to move the camera up and the shift key to move the camera down. Okay, that's up and that's down. Got it. But I'll probably do that instead. It just seems easier. 
To pan the camera, you can hold down your mouse middle scroll wheel, then move the mouse around like this. You can also hold the control key to move the mouse. Oh, really? Oh. Okay. That is better. I Even though I've been doing it with the middle mouse, I find that to be more cumbersome. Holding the control key is a lot easier. Okay. Uh, the third alternative, you can use the game controls from Scourge of War, Gettysburg, is to right-click anywhere on the brown toolbar at the bottom of the screen and move the mouse. Oh, look at that. Okay, I'm, I'm holding the right click down by clicking down there. Okay. Got it. When you're comfortable with the camera movement, I am moving on. Uh, well done, my lord. Now I will show you how to move a single regiment so we can use it to clear the farm of the enemy. To select the regiment, left click on their flag. yellow star above the unit will disappear to show that the unit is selected see image below okay so there's a yellow star click yellow star disappears once you have the unit selected as shown in the image close this window and i will explain can i move this oh i can okay I was hoping that I could expand this, but I guess I can't. Um, let's move the 28th Regiment forward a few yards. To move your unit, hold the right... Wait. Hold the right click on the ground where you want them to move. You'll notice a green arrow on the ground, which will be the unit's destination. And facing when they arrive while continuing to hold the right click you can move the mouse you can change the facing of the green arrow at this destination after you release the right click unit orders will pop up uh, and they'll appear to remove the order pop-up left click anywhere the order pop-up or orders content menu is used to give the unit orders upon reaching its destination there are four types of context menus depending on the unit's action but for now i will go over the ones used in the tutorial the destination menu is shown when you right click on the ground to set which way you will face it contain it contains buttons to set a formation use roads take control uh, from ai and other functions depending on what type is unit is selected let us destination contact uh, a few yards ahead, make sure the unit is selected, hold right click on the ground, blah, 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 blah. Once you have done it, then do it. Okay. See, because you could do this, you can move this pointer around. Uh, I want it to go, and usually you just click and then point in the direction you want them to face, right? Well, I want them to face right there. And then you've got this thing, and I'm just going to click anywhere away from it. You have the unit on its way forward. Close this window. Another useful feature of the context menu is the ability to queue several commands. Then use the execute button to execute them all at once. Let's queue up the line formation button and the double quick button to send the 28th quickly ahead to engage the enemy. Select the 28, right click on the ground near the farm, then right click the line formation button, the double quick button, and then left click the execute button shown on the menu. Is that the execute button? You can also left click one of the buttons and it will automatically execute your queued commands without having to click the execute button. When the 28th gets in range of the enemy, they will farm and they will do all that good stuff. Okay. So this looks close enough. And then I will right click the line button. 
It's not accepting that. Okay, it accepted the double quick, but now it's okay. Apparently, that didn't work. Okay, I'm gonna let these guys get back into their position, and then I'll try that again. Okay, it's a uh, select the 28th right click on the ground near the farm then right click the line formation button the double click button and then left click the execute button okay it's not letting me right click that it does let me right click that. Ah, there you go, it turned blue. Okay, there we go, line and double click. Okay, okay, that worked. I don't know if that's close enough for these guys to get. But look at that. Look at the, Yeah, it sounds like it. We're getting shot at, so we should be able to shoot back. And won't let me go any further forward. When they get in range of the enemy at the farm, they will stop and fire, and the next segment of the tutorial will begin. Okay, they're firing. That's a new trick I just learned. You can see that the enemy is firing back at the farm. It's starting to show plumes of musk. Now sit back and watch as our brave men clear the farm of the enemy. And I'm having picked in advance because my camera can only get so far away from picked in. What? How do I? How do I get rid of that? I didn't want to do that. Okay, great work. The enemy has retreated from the farm, will soon be ours. Have they? Okay, they're just saying they did. Uh, talk you by the farm. Select your regiment, and okay, select my regiment, and right-click in the center of the farm. You will see a small flag in the center indicating the unit is moving to occupy the farm. Yep, there's the flag. A large flag will appear above it, indicating that it's got junk. Okay. Thinking up here. Also, you hear the sounds of troops storming the buildings, breaking glass, etc. Try this now. If you want to speed up time, press the plus key on your keyboard. The minus key will store normal speed. Once the regiment is in the fort, the next segment of the tutorial will begin. 
I didn't know that the 28th North Gloucesters were called the Slashers. Oh, okay, that's, that's a little bit of information I didn't know. I'm using the Q and the E key to just turn turn the camera left and right. Good work. Your 20th Regiment has occupied the farm of the Lehi Saint. There it is. The flags are up here now. Any structure that can be occupied, forts love a yellow fort symbol above, hovering above them. The number is in the center indicates the maximum number of enemy of troops that can occupy the fort. Forts give strong defense. However, if your fort starts to take damage from artillery... Officers can also occupy forts if they do not have troops with them, they will easily be killed. Officers are moved the same way the regiments are. You select the ground. Oh. Select your officer, Picton. He is in the single horse rider. Yeah. I'm glad I did the tutorial. I actually learned one thing so far. How to move my camera a little bit better. Okay, he's in as well. Your officer is now safe within the walls. What am I hearing? Oh my gosh, a million other people. Because we just received a report that additional enemy units are moving this way from the south. I have requested that Wellington send you more forces to help fight them off. Close this window and your support will soon be on its way. Looks like the 95th. I'm guessing. First the 95th. 32nd Regiment of Foot. First, the 79th Regiment, Cameron Highlanders. Okay, great news. Brigade Commander Major General Sir Jane Kempt has just arrived, and his regiments are now under your command. Move them near the fort to help fight off the French. If you want, you can move Kempt and all of his units together. Do this by selecting Kempt. Right-click on the ground to bring up uh, the context menu and then select one of the formations. In the tutorial, we have considered use the line formation. So try this now and 
move Kemp and all of his regiments in a brigade, brigade line formation. After you have set your orders, you will see three extra green arrows. These represent the destination, ever a reunit, blah, blah, blah. However, each individual unit is still being controlled by the AI. And if for any reason the unit cannot reach the objective set by the commander, the AI will determine its own orders. Uh, micromanaging units. You can move each regiment individually. Right. Okay. It didn't say where to move them. So what I'm doing is I'm kind of looking for French. Ah, oh, there they are. All right, that should be Kemp. I'm gonna, I'm gonna click there. We're gonna select line, and there we go. I'm gonna double quick it. It's like the Highlanders going to the right. The 32nd Cornwall is going to the center. And 95th is going. Okay. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on an individual unit. Okay, that's a good spot for him in the woods and all that. Put him in a more uh, flanking style position, you know. Okay, they're coming into the woods. 95th is opening fire. says close it it'll start the, as soon as the next segment of the tutorial starts these guys are way out of position those are the first volta gears of the first guard that's pretty impressive young guard and that's the second battalion I don't know if my guys in the... Oh, wait, wait, where did those guys come from? They just beamed in. That's all right, though. Okay, I thought I was hearing artillery, and look at that, we got some artillery up here. I don't know why I'm not shooting at those guys. Oh, I am now. No, these guys are shooting over this way.
first trialia. Trial. Trialiers. I thought it was T R I, so trial, but I guess it's Tirol. Okay. Uh, I really like this game in the fact that uh, it shows all the different units. It's, it's a little bit like Total War, but um, a little bit different. Uh, okay, we got more good news. Wellington has just sent Roger's artillery battery to support you. Those Frenchmen don't stand a chance. Now, Roger is posted west of the farm. Since the enemy should already be within range of his artillery, Roger's guns will automatically unlimber and fire on their own. Locate Roger now. Once his batteries unlimber and begin to fire, we will go over the basic artillery commands. Well, is that them? Who's this guy? All right, Roger, come on. Unlimber your behind. Okay, what is this? Okay, so I'm going to start individually uh, deploying some units. Rallying line, they're in a line. Detach. Isn't there like an unlimber button? Once his batteries unlimber and bring to fire, we will go. Okay. Oh, it says they'll unlimber automatically. Well, guess what? They are doing that right now. Okay, good deal. Artillery is moving the same way other units are moved. Left click, right click, choose their formation. It's going to take a little more work to get them to obey your orders. It would be good time to explain the take charge from the AI button. As the name indicates, the better. Select Rogers, right click and bring up the context menu and left click take charge button. Okay. There, I just took charge. Do they limber up? Yep, they're out of Okay, they limbered up. I was like, I hope they're not going to manhandle them the whole way.
Okay, I'm having my Highlanders fall back. a double quick. Are these guys... doesn't tell me what their status is. When I advanced these guys, these guys didn't need to fall back that far. So now I'm moving them forward again. Huh? What is this? And again, what is this? Okay, so they're piecemealing all the different unit types into me to let me know how to control everything. That's pretty cool because um, I don't think I've ever done this tutorial. I just learned this game by watching other YouTube videos or whatever. Who is this? Oh, that's Rogers. Okay. Okay, Pictum says, yeah, the enemy sighted, obviously. I think these guys are a little discombobulated, so I'm not going to worry about them. And these guys are falling back, and the 95th is laying waste. So if I was to click on the 95th, it does give me this morale and fatigue. Uh, this tells me how many men are in the unit, right? And our casualties, okay. And this tells me a grade. I don't know what that means. Enemy casualties. Okay, so we're doing more casualties to them than they are to us. It's probably why our morale is up. Okay, these guys are going to start unlimbering, hopefully. I don't know what's up with this guy. He's a little bit off. But these guys are firing over there. This guy's just holding the line. This guy's firing there. We got some cav over here. King's Dragoons, the Royals. Okay, they're they're doomed. More of the Royals. More of the Ro Fuller. Okay, we got more of the Royals. And there it looks like they're gonna get on line over there. I don't know what's up with these guys. I don't think they know either. Okay, so there's no more, pretty much no more infantry. They're all scattered to the winds. Let's try something here. Let's, let's go up to this road in a column of companies. Hey, these guys are shooting. I'm waiting for it to pop up and say, hey, them.
That's fuller. It says go to selected unit. Okay, let's. <laughs> it only goes to the artillery. What's up with that? Is that Hugomont? It's also the guard. These guys aren't moving. No. Yes. Is this the sand pit? Okay, that's a much better looking formation. I'm waiting for them to tell me how to use CAV. Um, okay, I'm going into the menu. Something to do with distance. raise up the camera speed just a little bit I can't get over there because I guess I'm Picton and I've got to stay around Picton okay they lined up they're ready to go they're good to go I feel good about my uh, defensive layout right here. They basically just getting grape shotted. Wait, what's going on here? They're doing their own thing. Okay. actually formed up.
I don't think my objective is to uh, drive the enemy from... Okay, here comes the messenger. That's one thing I like. Uh, you don't get instant reports from units around the map. They have to actually send you a messenger and actually has to get there. Okay, I have engaged the enemy. Okay, great. I didn't want them to do that. Looks like they've routed. Okay, defensive terrain bonus. That's what I wanted to know. These icons are not very uh, intuitive. I remember the tutorial saying something about setting one of your units to do a volley fire. That means they'll all fire at once, and it'll be like an overwhelming shot. I don't know if they're in range, though. No valid targets in range. Okay. They do have a target, but I am going to move them up. Wow, these guys must have a short range. Primary target. Primary target. Okay. Oh, they're running away. Oh wait, there's another unit over there. That's all right, we're falling back. Okay, I'm going to hit the speed up time.
I don't know where it tells me that time has been sped up. I don't see it on here anywhere saying like a plus one or plus two or two times speed or anything like that. Trialiers, young guards still. Okay. These guys are not orienting towards me, which is pretty good. Having a fatigue all the way to the top is good. That means they're strong. Like these guys are fatigued. Is that what I'm understanding? It should be rewarded to stamina because um, stamina is a positive and fatigue is a negative. So having a large fatigue just makes me think that they are tired. If it was stamina and they had a large stamina, then I would say, okay, they're not tired. Or they should re reverse it and have fatigue at zero. And then uh, as they get more fatigued, it raises. Yeah, so that's backwards. unit there, this unit there. I shouldn't have to finish this fight. Come on, guys. What's next in the tutorial? Objectives. I don't have any. Uh, no, you're a stop. Put you on the other side. They're doing good. They've taken zero casualties and they've dealt 38. I mean, that's not a whole lot, but but when your unit only has 60 people, that's pretty good. But I think the casualties they did were the guys right here. Should I push forward? Should I attack? I don't think so. There's a Waterloo, right? We're supposed to defend. That's the tree where Wellington hangs out. LaBelle Alliance. Hugomont.
Okay, I'm going to cut the video right here. Uh, and I'll come back as soon as the tutorial gives me another message or victory or something like that. I'm just going to let it play out. So I'll see you in just a second. Okay, I'm back. Uh, it looks like the French are making another push right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this unit over here in line. And then I'm going to let the rest of these guys kind of just chill. No, let me take that back. I'm going to put these guys there in line. I mean, the tutorial didn't talk anything about skirmishers or anything like that. These guys just jumped into line. No valid targets. We're just going to get close. Now remember, I've got volley fire, so that means our guys aren't just going to do, like, uh, willy-nilly shooting. They're going to wait till everybody is ready to shoot and then unload. Just like that. You see how that big blast went? Boom. that volley basically made them route or run Once that volley fire shoots, it turns off. Because it's like one volley and then they go individual shots. I don't have an objective. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. This is where we're at, La Haye Saint. There's Goumont, Chateau de Goumont. I, I thought that was Hugomont. Yeah, and then there's La, La Belle Alliance. 
Mont Saint Jane. Yeah, we can see all of this. And there's like the frogs. I think I just want to press on, advance, and destroy these guys. I think that's what we're going to do. Okay, these are the three squadrons. That must be Fuller, right? Okay, so here we go. Right-click on Fuller, and let's take over from the AI.
and going back to their original formations. All right, I'm setting up so that these guys can like engage these other guys uh, and then have the cavalry come up and threaten them. Maybe they'll form a square. And if they do, then I'm gonna charge them. Uh, the riflemen seem to be able to have like a long range, do casualties without losing anybody. But I'm still gonna press forward a little bit with these guys. Just to see if I can't get some. Uh, now I got my cannons starting to deploy over here. I got these guys in march column. Those cannons reset up over there, but luckily they're kind of far away.
Are they gonna catch him? I'm doing is pushing him back. All right, guys. So I don't want to have to press on and finish this tutorial. Um, let's go ahead and uh, I'm going to do another video uh, in one of the other battles. All right. Uh, I'll see you in the next video.